Hey guys, I'm Nat Kent, and welcome to my Geek Out Your Workout Iron Man Clothes review video. Today I'm going to take a look at the Iron Man workout clothes done by Her Universe and Marvel sold only at Kohl's. As you might have known from watching my other videos, Her Universe did a line of clothes that includes Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America. She partnered with Marvel and they're sold only at Kohl's. The theme of the line is Be a Hero. There are over 30 pieces in the line and you can get sizes from extra small to triple extra triple extra large. Um, today I'm going to show you the pieces that I bought in the Iron Man line. I'll show you how they fit my body. Down in the comments below you can see the sizes um, that I'm wearing and my measurements to help you decide what size you might wear. And at the end you'll see my overall thoughts on the line. Um, I'm very excited to talk to you about this line because Iron Man is my favorite! So let's get started. The first item I'm going to show you is actually the t-shirt that I'm wearing. It is a red t-shirt that says Iron Man Workout and it has checked abs, squats, and save the world. Now this shirt is super cute. I love the color of red it is and you'll see that it's very lightweight. You can kind of see through the fabric. Um, on the back is also a little gold Iron Man head, which really screams Iron Man. Uh, this shirt is short in front and long in back, which I absolutely love because it helps cover that little part um, where your pants hit your back and uh, sometimes your underwear shows through. When working out with this shirt, it was very lightweight. It's a little bit blousey, um, but I didn't mind that. I'm wearing it in a size small, and this shirt is made up of 65% polyester and 35% rayon. The next shirt is the Black Iron Man shirt, and down the left side of the shirt, you'll see that it says Iron Man in a couple different colors. There's the Iron Man um, iconic head, and um, there are what I think looks like um, honeycomb. I'm not exactly sure why they chose this honeycomb print. You'll see it throughout the line. Um, a little bit about of it, a little bit about it says Iron Man to me, but to me and my eye, it looks a lot like honeycomb. So this shirt is black. On the back, it is kind of a, a T strap, and at the bottom of that T is that gold Iron Man head. You'll also see that this shirt is very lightweight that you can almost see through it. Um, so you will be able to almost see a little bit of color through the shirt depending on the color of sports bra you wear. With both shirts, they're both cut very low on the sides. So you will be able to see the sports bra or the bra that you're wearing underneath. So keep that in mind when you're out in public. When it comes to this black shirt, um, the waist is um, shorter in front than it is in back, um, but what I really like about it is that the sides are cut, much like the Black Widow shirt, up to your waist, so um, it fits your body uh, down to your rib cage very nicely, and then it is more blousey down by your hips. So if you have a little something to hide in your tummy area, or you feel like your hips are very large and shirts don't generally fit you very well, this shirt will fit you very well. On to the sports bras. Um, the first one is the black Iron Man sports bra. The front of the sports bra is black, and then the band on the bottom features the um, red and colorful um, honeycomb pattern that I pointed out. The back of this sports bra has straps that are gold and red that I think are really cute and then that Iron Man head in gold and on this band on the back it says be a hero. Um, what's different about this sports bra than the other sports bras in the line um, and only the Iron Man sports bras have this are the hanging straps. Her universe should have done this for all of the sports bras because they are fantastic. Um, I love hanging my clothes to dry um, after I get them out of the washer and so the hanging straps really help. Other than that, um, I fold my stuff and put it in a drawer so I don't have to hang my sports bras. The other sports bra features the honeycomb print on the full front and then the band on the bottom is black. On the back, it's the same gold and red um, straps 
And then the same gold Iron Man iconic head with the Be A Hero printed in color on the back. Also, it does have the hanging straps. Um, both these sports bras, you'll see me wearing a small in. Um, they are both 88% polyester with 12% spandex for the shell and the lining. Um, the back string is 85% nylon and 15% spandex. The sports bras tend to be a little bit um, short, so they don't, they're not full coverage. Um, these sports bras normally, um, I try and like to hold in my upper body, especially when I'm doing high interval intensity training, running, jogging, jumping. Um, these straps in the back, the fabric that they're made of are very stretchy, so they don't hold very tight. Same with these straps, they stretch a lot. So I would have preferred to wear an extra small in these sports bras, but the amount of fabric from here to here was not very much, and I felt like I was showing a little too much skin and that it probably would not be appropriate for me to be working out outdoors. Um, so if you are a little bit bigger in the chest, you probably want to go with the, if, and you're in between sizes when it comes to around your, your uh, rib cage, you probably want to go with a bigger size so it actually covers everything. Also on these sports bras, you will see that they have a little cup on the inside. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's just like a little piece of foam. It doesn't give you any padding. It just gives you a little bit of coverage. Um, so if it's cold outside and you're working out, your nipples aren't going to show through. There is a little hole on the side in the lining that's meant to be there, so you can pull the little cups out. Um, but I like the little cups because it gives you just a little bit of shape. And again, like I said, it hides your nipples in case, you know, they decide they want to come out and say hello. Uh, next, we have our sports tops. So these are like the tank tops that have the sports bras inside. The first one um, you'll see here is a honeycomb print. So that honeycomb in red. No, no Iron Man specific things on the front other than the print. On the back, this is where it starts getting interesting. So um, you'll see the straps are very similar to the sports bras with the type of elastic that they're using. Instead of uh, red and gold, you see red and black. Um, it's almost like they did a sports bra first, so you'll see that Iron Man print on the back. And then the rest of the shirt is actually not attached on the back. Um, it's only attached to the side, so under your armpit. And then the back is nice and loose and open, which shows just a little bit of a peekaboo of your uh, middle back. The sports bra part, the interior part that's, that's the sports bra, um, it does not have that little lining and the little cups in there. Um, so even though this shirt is two layers, the sports bra lining layer and then the outside shirt layer, you don't have the little cups to give you just that little bit of extra coverage. So just to let you know that that's there. Um, in this shirt, I am wearing a small for the same reasons. I probably would have liked an extra small for it to hold me in a little bit better. Um, but the coverage of the top also is very minimal. Uh, the sports bra is, the outer shell is made out of 92% polyester and 8% spandex. And then the inside bra shell and lining are made of 88% polyester and 12% spandex. And then the back string, which is this back stuff on the sports bra, is made out of 85% nylon and 15% spandex. And these tops do have the little hanging straps as well. I know some people cut these off because they find them annoying and they don't need them, which is fine. But I like the option that they are there in case you want them. The other sports top is kind of exactly opposite in color. So the sports top is black and then the inside sports bra is red. Again, nothing on the front of the top that really says or speaks to being Iron Man. In fact, when I wear the shirt, you can barely even see that there is a red lining in here. On the back, on the um, sports bra portion is that gold Iron Man iconic head. Nowhere does it say be a hero. Um, and again, is the stretchy straps in the back. It does have the hanging straps. And just like the other top, it's only 
the shirts only attached to the sports bra to just under your armpits and then the back is kind of open and blousey. This shirt I wore a small. Uh, the outer portion is 92% polyester and 8% spandex. The inner uh, bra shell and lining is 88% polyester and 12% spandex. And then the back string is 85% nylon and 15% spandex. Same with the other top. The small didn't really hold my boobs in very much. I would have liked it to be tighter. I would have loved an extra small, but there was not enough fabric to cover as far up as I wanted to. Um, the way that the shirt fits though, it fit very nicely. It was kind of blousey. Probably not the type of shirt that I would wear when I'm doing a really intense workout because I find it really annoying when my clothes move around too much. Um, and I don't like it when they move around and get in my way when I'm doing a really intense workout. So maybe not for high interval intensity training, um, especially if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of jumping, a lot of burpees, and probably even not for running. I would wear this to maybe um, like a dance class, a Zumba class, except for the shimmying part, I might wear another sports bra underneath. Definitely a yoga class or a Pilates class, this would be very comfortable. This would also, these shirts would be very comfortable just walking around in the everyday world, going to Disneyland, going to the grocery store. Um, yeah, and then any workout that's not really like intensely jumping or bouncing. Next we have the shorts. So there's two types of shorts, um, and I was only shipped one of the two pairs of shorts, which is one of the reasons why I was waiting to make this video. I still haven't gotten the second pair of shorts, but you'll get the basic idea. I have um, I have the Black Widow shorts here, so you can get an idea of what the Iron Man ones are gonna look like. So the Iron Man shorts come in two colors. They come in the um, honeycomb look. I know it's not honeycomb, you guys. I just don't know what else to call it. Um, on the front of the shorts is the Iron Man head icon and on the back of the shorts in red and gold it says be a hero. There's also a cute little icon of the Iron Man head there too. I don't know if you can see it. Um, the other pair of shorts are the black shorts that are just like the Black Widow ones. They have the same gold Iron Man on the front of the black shorts and the same red and gold be a hero on the waistband on the back of the black Iron Man shorts. In these shorts, I wear a size medium. Um, they are 88% polyester, 12% spandex, and these are shorty shorts. So um, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about the size of your hips, your butt, or your thighs, please know these are super short. In fact, Her Universe sells them as shorties. So these might not be the shorts for you. However, if you have and feel very comfortable with your butt, hips, and thighs, and um, you love shorty shorts, these are fantastic shorts for you. I um, tried them in both a medium and a large. The large were very big on me and I had the problem where in the mediums the legs roll a little bit when I was working out and in the large the legs rolled a lot. In fact in the larger size the whole pair of shorts was kind of rotating and moving around my body and the legs were rolling. So um, they are tiny shorts so be aware of that and know that but they're pr they're pretty true to size. So just know that you're getting short shorts. When I did squats in these shorts, I didn't really have a problem um, with any kind of see-throughness. You could definitely see the imprint if I was wearing a brief panty, um, but there was really no see-throughness um, on either the black Black Widow shorts or this um, honeycomb print from the Iron Man line. I have a feeling that they used the same fabric and just um, did a different heat press of the Be A Hero and the Iron Man head between the two lines, Black Widow and Iron Man. And then finally, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting faster at doing this. The more I talk about clothes, the faster I go. Um, we have the pants in the line. So um, the first pair of pants uh, is black and red with the honeycomb print on it. Uh, in the front, you'll see on the black waistband, that gold Iron Man um, icon. And then down the leg, so on uh, kind of where your thighs are, you'll see some red fabric. Down right above your knee, you'll see some red fabric with that honeycomb fabric. 
And then down just below your knee, you'll see this red fabric that almost has a honeycomb, um, it, like it's almost like a honeycomb fabric. So it's kind of see-through. It looks very much like uh, what you'd see on sports jerseys. These pants fit very well. Um, and then on the back of the pants, the, there's a black waistband. It says Be Hero in red and black with that um, Iron Man icon. And then the red kind of goes up over your butt to kind of feature your, your backside. Um, I thought it was really cute on. I didn't think it um, made my backside look bad. In fact, I thought it was like, ooh, I have a perky butt today. So, and then down on the back of the leg is that same red kind of um, jersey type of fabric. In these pants, I wore size medium. Um, the solid fabric is 86% polyester and 14% spandex. The print fabric is 88% polyester and 12% spandex. And the mesh is 94% uh, polyester and 6% spandex. Again, these pants fit me very well. I didn't feel the need to move them. Um, I could do high interval intensity training and they stayed put. Great pants. And finally, the last pair of pants is the black Iron Man pants. On the front, you'll see that gold Iron Man icon. On the back, you'll see the Be A Hero written in red and gold and the Iron Man icon there. And then down the left leg, it says be a hero and you'll see that Iron Man icon. So that's what the little tiny Iron Man icon looks like on the back of all those waistbands. Um, the light's really weird in here, sorry. There you go, that's what it looks like. Um, these pants fit um, very much like the Black Widow pants and the Captain America pants that didn't have any extra seams in them. They just fit very nicely. I really like these pants because to me these pants screamed Iron Man even though they were black pants on the front the red and the gold really stood out and that Iron Man had really stood out so you could see it um, these pants are a size medium and they are 86% polyester and 14% spandex and I haven't showed you the inside label of any of these clothes but um, they say Marvel, they say her universe, and then there's a little icon of whatever uh, character you're wearing. So inside all the Iron Man clothes is that little uh, Iron Man icon, which I think is really cute. Um, when doing squats in these pants, I did not find them to be see-through, but just like regular spandex workout pants, um, you could see if you're wearing a brief, you could see the line, and then when you're really deep in the squat, if you're wearing a color that's significantly different than the pants that you're wearing, um, you could kind of see a little bit of the color through, but I wouldn't worry about that because you're never doing that super deep of a squat in real life. Um, and then I know these are workout clothes, so when you're doing a really super deep squat, you're down there for such a short amount of time, um, you, you can't even really see it. So not really anything to be worried about. Uh, worried about sorry so that's all the clothes in the past you see you have seen me wear a lot of cotton workout shirts um, cotton is very good at absorbing moisture so if you're doing exercises outdoors and you're sweating a lot even if you're sweating a lot indoors I guess it doesn't really matter um, cotton is known to be very absorbent so it's gonna absorb your sweat and it's not gonna be wicking away or um, absorbing very or, I'm sorry um, dissipating into the air very fast it's gonna stick in that shirt and to me when I work out with a really wet shirt on it feels really gross and it's very distracting from my workout so I tend to not like to wear cotton clothes unless I have to when I work out which uh, up until now when you know lines like her, her universe start making workout clothes um, you really didn't have a choice we did see spandex. Uh, spandex really puts the stretch in workout wear. Spandex is known to be very, very stretchy and be able to come back to its shape and hold you in place. Spandex is one of my favorite things to see in workout wear. Um, spandex dries really fast and it really holds you in. So when you get that nice muscle definition and you're looking at your legs or you're like wearing a long sleeve shirt, you can see your muscles through your, um, through your clothes, which I love. 
Um, sometimes you're going to have to get spandex a little looser around the tummy area if you feel a little more uncomfortable about that area. Um, but you know, spandex holds you in, so it's one of my favorites. We've also seen polyester. Polyester is the workhorse of workout fabrics. It's a synthetic fabric. It's very lightweight. It wicks moisture. It doesn't stay um, wet for very long. But polyester does tend to breed bacteria, which means your clothes could get very stinky very fast. So don't worry about it. Just wash your workout clothes with soap, with laundry detergent in water, and you'll be fine. Uh, we've seen nylon in these clothes. It's synthetic, it's breathable. Uh, nylon is very soft. It has the ability to resist mildew, which is great if you're the type of person that works out and sticks your clothes in the laundry basket and leaves them for a week before you wash them. Probably don't want to do that with polyester. With nylon, I mean, you probably still don't want to do it, but it will resist mildew so you won't have that growing in your clothes as fast. Um, it wicks moisture. That's the word I was looking for earlier, by the way. It wicks moisture and it dries fast. Um, we've also seen rayon in these workout clothes. Rayon is very lightweight. What's nice about rayon is it will not insulate your body temperature. Um, so it lets the heat out so you're not getting hotter than you need to be. Um, it's a synthetic fabric, so it won't hold on to sweat. How do I wash my workout clothes and how does Her Universe recommend you wash your workout clothes? I shall read it to you. Um, it says, machine wash cold with light colors, gentle cycle. Non-chlorine bleach when needled, tumble dry low. Remove promptly, cool iron if needed. Do not iron decoration. Okay, so these pants have been washed a couple times and they still look fantastic. There's no pilling, there's no um, stretch marks, nothing on the fabric has changed since washing. Um, the stitching has stayed in place. It's great. Even the decals have stayed in place and I'm going to try and get close. The light might be, get weird. The only problem is, is with this Iron Man decal, it's starting to crack. See that? So that's going to happen even though, regardless of washing it or not, just because it's on a stretchy fabric. So just know that that's going to happen probably with any of the printing on any of these clothes um, over time. The decals, however, are staying on very nicely. Nothing is peeling off. When I personally wash my workout clothes, um, I only wash my workout clothes with other workout clothes because I don't want the fibers in the other fabrics to get into my workout clothes. I don't want lint on my workout clothes, especially because a lot of these clothes are black. I also turn my workout clothes inside out when I wash them. So if you imagine your clothes are inside out and they're rubbing against each other, if anything is going to a uh, pill or if there's going to be any um, loose edges when it comes to thread, it will happen to the inside of your clothes. So when you're wearing them and the outside of your clothes are being shown, you won't see any of that. So it'll give the appearance that your workout clothes are um, nicer or newer than they could possibly be. Um, and then I don't actually tumble dry my workout clothes like the, this label says you can. I like to hang my workout clothes up to dry. I feel like putting them in the dryer, um, even if it's on low heat, it, it makes your workout clothes look like they've been worn. They don't look as new. They don't last as long. They don't stretch as well um, for long time use. So even though Her Universe says that you can tumble dry their clothes, I tend to not tumble, tumble dry any of my workout clothes. And on laundry day, you'll see my workout clothes hanging up in all my windows and in all my doorways. Um, final thoughts on these clothes. So the t-shirts. Um, I love that they're lightweight. I love that they're short in front and long in back. When it comes to the black t-shirts, I like that the sides are open for some types of exercises. Though on other exercises, I might not wear it because I don't want the floppiness of the shirt to get in my way. I also feel like um, that black shirt um, leaves a little bit to be desired when it comes to the way it fits the front tummy area if you are in really good shape. It might, and I just have this as a personal feeling, it makes me feel like I look a little bit larger than I really am. But it fits your upper body and your chest really nicely. So it's kind of a give and take. You have to decide what you like. I loved the print um, on both of these t-shirts. I would wear these just any day to go anywhere. I would just make sure to wear a sports bra because the sides are very low. Uh, when it comes to the sports bras, uh, I 
wanted there to be more fab. I'm wearing a sports bra underneath here, as you can tell. That's why I keep touching it, is I wanted there to be more fabric in the front, and I wanted there to be a little bit more coverage, kind of like the Captain America line. So I didn't feel like I was possibly um, showing off too much of the goods. Um, the straps in the back and the straps that come up over your shoulders, they are very stretchy and they give a lot. So like how I would much rather wear an extra small and make sure I'm being held in because it's so low cut, I can't do that. So I have to wear a small and still be aware that my shirt is probably gonna droop a little bit because I'm not being held in as tight as I want. Um, but I do really love the hanging straps and I love the bright colors of these sports bras. When it comes to the sports tops, the tops that were like, had the tank tops in them, um, I love that little drapiness in the back. Um, I also really loved the different design that those sports tops were than the rest of the sports tops and tank tops and sports bras in the rest of the Her Universe Civil War line. I do wish that they had the little um, pedals inside to kind of give you a little extra coverage. Again, that sports top is also very low cut. So, um, and the straps are very stretchy, so it's the same problem as the sports bra. And the black sports top, it was just black. There was nothing on the front that said Iron Man, so I would really have liked that to have said Iron Man on it. Um, when it comes to the shorts, they're super cute. They're really, really short, so if you're not looking for a short short, maybe not the short for you, but if you're looking for a shorty and you love short shorts, they're amazing. I loved on the black short how the back, um, the back waistband, it says Be Hero in bright colors. So it stands out. I love that it stands out. And then the pants, I love the colors. I love the fit. I love the, I love the pants um, when it comes down to it. Overall, across the line, I really wish that the clothes would have stunned would have screamed Iron Man more. And I know I said that in the Black Widow line. And her universe could have done testing and people wanted a little more subtle. I get it. But it's just my personal thought is that if I'm going to be wearing clothes for my favorite Avenger, which is Iron Man, I want the world to know that I'm wearing Iron Man clothes. If I'm taking a selfie in my shirt, I love having that Iron Man insignia right there in the front popping out so it's showing up in my Instagram and my Facebook photos and I love that my friends can see it when I'm walking up to them on the street or at Disneyland people can see oh she's an Iron Man fan and she likes to work out overall across the line I really I loved the pants and I loved these t-shirts um, I just wish that the sports bras had a little bit more coverage and then they fit a little bit better um, however, I do really appreciate that Her Universe designed the sports bras differently between the Iron Man line, the Captain America line, and the Her Universe line. The cut of the sports bras, the design of the sports bras, and the sports tops, they're all different. So I really appreciate that. I just wish they this line, the Iron Man, had a little more coverage. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul review video of the Her Universe Civil War Iron Man workout clothes. Um, if you know anyone that is looking at these clothes online because I believe they're only sold in store on the East Coast. So if you or one of your friends are looking to get these clothes and are unsure how they're gonna fit or are unsure what they look like, please watch the video, forward my video to them so they can get an idea of what size they're gonna wear, how these clothes are gonna fit, um, and what they look like. And if you are interested in getting the Black Widow workout line, um, or the Captain America workout line and you want to see review videos on those you can click one of the links that have popped up in the little Corner that will be over here and either at the beginning of the video or right now uh, yeah, If you have any questions comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you next time Great job today if you had fun or got a good workout go ahead and hit like below and don't forget to subscribe We will have more geek out your workout videos coming to you soon You can find me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram as geek out your workout or Princess Napkins. Enjoy geeking out your next workout.